Hey, welcome back to the Foundation for Greatness. This is Joshua Lafon. We have Zalo Gonzalez and we have Remy today. Hi. Remy. Hi. <laughs> All right, so um, so you do credit repair. You're also like a realtor. Uh, you actually, you have a lot of hats, I guess you want to say. Yeah, um, well, the city has definitely provided for it, to be honest. I moved from L.A., so. Oh, um, nice. I moved from L.A. to Las Vegas, and I assumed the city was very small. <laughs> um, big mistake if you're trying to move out here. It's huge. Um, and It, it I, wasn't like that. It way. wasn't. In 2007, I mean, when I Californians moved here. Californians yeah, moving yeah. out here, you know? Yep. yep. Um, but I got into real estate, um, and I got really lucky because the brokerage that I'm with now were, was looking to, you know, have a transaction coordinator in office, and I was really looking for something to kind of, you know, how realtors have to do, yeah. you know, yeah. you, you don't get a commission yeah. every single biweekly or yeah. monthly if you're lucky. So mm -hmm. I have a three-year-old son. I said, you know, it's it's time for me to make sure that I have a security that's involved mm -hmm. in my yep. choice of career, which is real estate. So it kind of just seamlessly happened for me that way, and credit happened for that reason too. You oh, know? nice. That's great. Yeah. When we start prospecting for people and we want to qualify them, what's the first question we ask? Yeah. Exactly. What's your credit score? Right. Yeah. Right. Um, that's true. For anything, pretty much. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Even a nice if vacuum. You, if you want to date wanna... somebody, you're like, what's your credit <laughs> score? <laughs> <I> know, <right? laughs> if you want a Dyson, you know, they're literally going to ask you what, you know, yeah. you want to pay it in payments. So it's, yeah. It's, we've reached that point where it's become, I mean, it's always been, but now more than ever, it's become mm -hmm. that three digit number that takes yep. full control of your six digit income right exactly. yeah yeah I, I love that i yeah. love what you just said yeah that's great yeah I, I can't wait till they start doing the social credit score i'm just playing <laughs> i've seen that where they Followers. just see your face like i have a lot of people tell me i look like somebody else what if their credit score is not good <laughs> 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 you know, like, i don't want them to start thinking you know <laughs> exactly yeah. So, uh, so you said you work uh, at a brokerage. What brokerage do you work at? I work at Rothwell Gorn Companies with the Craig and Rinaldi team. Just an amazing team. Very on field. Very. I think it's the type of brokerage that is very old school. It's it's big Italian? on like. I mean, I for are they me. Italian? I mean, I feel like they are. You know, yeah. like um because they they still do the full spectrum of things. You know, I see now the newer brokerages are focusing a lot on social media. Yeah. 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 Um, which I think is such a resourceful tool for any business yep. you mm -hmm. try to manage, right? Yeah. But they focus more on the interpersonal part of real estate that we're trying to really, I mean, we saw yeah. what Zillow was trying to do to yeah. us, right? Yeah. So it, they focus on that, like meeting people, becoming family with people, mm -hmm. becoming the resource to people. So, mm -hmm. yeah. um, the basics. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah, the, the fundamentals, basics, yeah. right? Yeah, real estate and one -on -one, yeah. Networking, network is your net worth. Yeah. So they, yeah. they yeah, definitely focus on that as well. So, and I'm a social butterfly. What can I say? We, <laughs> we go very well together. Gotcha, <laughs> That's gotcha, great. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you have any questions, Alo, or? Yeah, no. Uh, so, so who's Remy? You said you moved here from LA, right? Yeah. So, what part of LA? I'm Highland Park, so I'm from huh. Highland Park, Northeast Los Los Angeles, and Los Angeles. I huh? know Los Angeles. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help it. I'm sorry. You speak Spanish? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, I nice, do. nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, so that also has helped a lot, yeah. um, especially in Las Vegas, because there is yes. a large Hispanic community out yep. here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so um, I I come from Los Angeles. I moved out here in 2017. Uh, I was oh, wow. really just recent. I mean, not yeah. that recent anymore. I mean, <laughs> I'm not officially yeah. Las Vegan quite yet. They say 10 year mark is the mark, but I feel it. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> uh, especially in the summer. Yeah, especially <laughs> like, Okay, so we just passed winter. It's why I'm a little pale, but don't worry. <laughs> um, and then from there, I, I had studied um, biological sciences. I wanted to become a veterinarian. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. Um, I did a lot of dog walking. I did. I wanted to be a dog trainer for a while, so I did a lot of studying and kind of practicing on the field for that. And curiously enough, because of dog walking, I met a very successful realtor out here who I fell in love with his dogs and he <laughs> fell in love with my service. Yeah, and it, it always starts with dogs, like all the time, no matter what it is. <laughs> yeah. But then that's the I best part, like dog parks, <laughs> yeah. all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I mean, again, any, <laughs> any network you could get in, yeah. but the dog network is great. You yeah. already yeah. know, yeah. they're yeah. loyal people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like so, the dogs. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, um, so I saw his vision board. You know, that's a really big thing now, like the yeah. vision boards. And I used to think that was really corny, very Pinterest-y, mm. you mm -hmm. know. But I saw his vision board and he had such a calculatable strategy as to how he was going to achieve the sales okay. and you speak math to me you're speaking my love language so yeah. i saw okay. what he had and i saw how he accomplished it and metrics huh i just yeah I was mean, it all metrics like uh, you know it was metrics. Calls, how many clients you touched blah 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 that, you, know, you closed like mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. certain amount. You know, you talk to 10 people, you probably close one or two. Type exactly. Of stuff. So that okay. type of metrics and then the other type of metrics, which is, again, the networking. Mm. So oh, how many okay. people do I have to network to make the connections that I need? In gotcha. Order to, gotcha. And I thought that was brilliant. See, I'm not doing that enough. That's, uh, that's the problem with me. Yeah, no, same here. I, I yeah, never thought of it. Enough. I didn't think about the... Ne- yeah. I'm, I'm a big social networker, but when it comes to, like, person to person, I'm just like... I'd rather stay home yeah, and yeah. chill. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, that's that, you same know, here, same here. I turned into an introvert when I first moved out here, so I always tell people I didn't start experiencing Las Vegas until I became a realtor. Mm. Ah, okay, um, makes sense. Because I didn't know the city. I mean, I grew up in Los Angeles. Yeah. So yeah. I knew the city there, like block by block, but I don't know, here you turn two lefts and you're in the same street. Yeah, um, yeah. So <laughs> it, it definitely kept me indoors for a bit, and... Uh. Then I turned into a realtor and I, I remembered who I was in Los Angeles and yeah. and I got amazing connections like Ryan Crichton, Jeremy mm-hmm. Lewis, you know, they're, yeah. I yeah. Mean, they're huge. not only huge are they dudes, huge, yeah, out here, yeah. not only are they huge, but they have so much experience. Mm-hmm. Out here. Yeah. You see a lot of huge new money and mm-hmm. something yep. about the way they do it that really just uh, my parents are from the 50s and they're very big on work work ethic so yeah. gotcha. yeah. you know that's great it's pretty great so the city yeah. the city became my home when i became a realtor i, I feel hmm. definitely that's very that's, cool that's awesome so um so you, you you told us a little bit about yourself so uh what made you change the direction other than like i would say the money or anything like that from like the veterinarian to being um yeah in real estate I mean, my dad had been telling me for a long time he was a realtor in Los Angeles, a loan officer, and now he's a property manager. Okay. For quite a couple properties out there in Los Angeles. And he always used to tell me, like, oh, you're so smart and you're so pretty. You should be a realtor. Um, <laughs> and you know how kids are when their parents suggest anything. You're just like, no. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do the opposite. You know, so. I'm going to go train dogs. I, yeah, I'm going to go train dogs. Um, why don't you just become a human doctor? Because dogs don't talk back. Um, That's true. You know, so <laughs> I just, for whatever reason, and again, meeting Helder, which is the person whose dogs I used to walk. Oh, okay. So meeting Helder. I don't yeah. know if you know Helder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, so I've seen it was, before, yeah. Yeah, so. Um, curly hair guy, right? He's got curly yeah, hair. Yeah, curly, yeah, curly, curly. Yeah, yeah, very curly, yeah. yeah. I've seen him, yeah. So um, meeting him really did kind of made the step into real estate. Mm. Um, meeting Jeremy Lewis made the step into social environments. Oh, okay. And gotcha. that's where it all came mm. hand to hand. And as I was nice. getting to social environments and as I was starting to prospect, as I was starting to even work with rentals, because a lot of people don't want to yeah. I have a yep. sweet spot for yeah. my Latinos. And I used to work in the service industry when I first moved out here, too. Mm. I was like, I need to get people into rentals, but the credit. And I didn't know who to go to. Yep. Because you always hear, like, I I don't know who to go to right now. (laughs) Credit. Well, you know me. So now now, 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 now I know, right? And that's why I wanted to have you here. But before, like, I mean, usually you just tell them the lender will handle it, right? But I think I'd rather have somebody that knows that they so focus local too big, yeah and that they focus on that yeah. not like oh yeah. i'll do lending but here's my credit report people like i'd it's rather go tough. to somebody that i know like for example you you know i mean you know uh, that's mean? why i feel like the wearing multiple hats you yeah. have to adapt mm-hmm. to the situation you're yep. in right yep. Yep. and the only way you're going to adapt is if you know the circumstances and the only way you're going to know is to educate yourself yeah you know yeah. and and it started like that like uh bianca diaz she's amazing I don't yeah know. i know bianca uh, you yeah. see yeah this city i'm telling you it's, <laughs> it's big, small it's a big small it's city a big, small, big city. small city yeah, city, yeah. so <laughs> bianca diaz she reached out to me through facebook she was like hey like i see you're a realtor i see mm-hmm. you're super active in social media yeah. which i did not feel so at the moment but <laughs> she's like this would be a great tool for you you know yeah. you should get into you know credit repair and i was like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was all like, no, I don't know anything. I didn't even have a credit card at that time. I was a very big hypocrite. I can't believe I'm going to say this in a microphone, but I was a big hypocrite because I was helping people try to buy houses and getting approved and getting them into rentals. And I had a 535 yeah. and I didn't yeah. have a credit card. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it was tough for me to like, <clears throat> I feel like imposter syndrome my way through all of it. And getting in touch with Bianca and getting to know the information about credit, Mm -hmm. not just credit restoration, but the power of credit in general when it comes to wealth. When it comes to wealth, 
it's crazy. I mean, this is the only country where we can leverage somebody else's money to make yep. more money. Yep. yep. Yeah. You can't do that anywhere else. Nope. Not unless you have a whole bunch of more money in your yep. pocket. Yeah, no. <laughs> right? Exactly. So, That's why I left Mexico. You know? I there's know. Not, yeah. There's. I love can't my do anything Mexico. Over there. Yeah. But I love you Mexico. Know, you just can't really do much over tough. there. It's yeah, tough. Yeah. It's really tough unless you have the money. Yeah. You can't just. Get there's a, no credit. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's, there's no, no credit. credit. I yeah. mean, there's credit conceptually, but again, you have to have like that huge lump sum, huh. and and um, the credit is really just like a lending process. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, it makes sense. You know, so it's not, yeah. it's not as easy as it is here. People think it's so hard, but we have it really good. We have it really good. Yeah, yeah. Really I agree really with good. you. So yeah. she convinced me. I mean, I not enough to join her her program though i was like nah girl i'm gonna try this for myself <laughs> yeah, yeah. i'm gonna try she, this for myself she tried to do the same thing to me yeah but, you uh, know? i i was too focused on real estate i told her i don't have the time you know she's all you need is like a day i'm like i i don't have the time i'm building my real estate empire you know that's what i'm trying to do right I now know. And, let uh, me tell yeah. you same response okay same yeah. response and now you know what it is i do so mm -hmm. um i went through the credit restoration process um I was really frustrated because the first cycle, which takes approximately 60 days to get responded to. Okay. Um, no results. Ask, yeah. okay. Verified. Mm. Um, you can definitely ask me that question, but just to like give you my testimony. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, yeah. First cycle, no response. 60 okay. days. Second cycle, no response. Another 60 days. We're doing the math. That's four months. Mm -hmm. Over wow. here paying a monthly fee for a program. And I'm like, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I told her, you know what? I like you. I'm going to try it again. So the third cycle came through. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I had gotten three <coughs> of my six negatives removed. Oh, nice. Oh, and okay. they were collections. Gotcha. Um, my credit score went from 535 to 649. Wow. So it was nice. over 100. Yeah, and it's also yeah. because at that time frame, I had educated myself on credit cards. Mm. Okay. I again Latino parents and they're all like, do not <laughs> yeah, do not be in debt. Yeah, that's how my dad told me. The <laughs> same. O sea, no te metas en deudas. Yeah. Yeah. You break <laughs> you break any type of relationship with yeah. a dollar being owed. Do not get into any debt. So yep. first thing I thought about a credit card was like, uh uh, you ain't fooling me. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not owing you a cent, you know? So that was my mistake. We're misinformed, we're miseducated, yeah. we yeah. we use our, you know, like it's like, if you need a mechanic, are you going to go to your mom for advice? Exactly. You need to go to a professional. But yeah. we're so used to resorting to the people that we know and yep. we trust. Yep. Um, and they, they aren't always informed. Yep. Here's yep. the crazy part. We have computers yeah. and we have phones and we can inform ourselves. Yep. But Google. Then, but then <laughs> I know. Uh, I tell, I tell yeah. people that I tell people that all the time. I'm like, they're like, oh, how do I do this? I don't know. There's just YouTube and Google. Yeah. Google it. And but but you you know the answer. I, I, I might, but I might be wrong. But just, just fucking <laughs> Google it. Like, come on. Fact <laughs> check me on Google. Google you know? Yeah, exactly. So like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so it's crazy. You think you could do it on your own. And it, the reality is you can, but you have to first... Put yourself through that, through yeah. learning the process. So that's yeah. why when I got that result, I was like, all right, I believe you. I decided to become an agent. I endeavored a little bit more education. Cool. I, it was a turnkey business for me. So they had websites for me. They had oh, everything. Wow. I okay. had no choice. I mean, it was easier than the MLS. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> it's basically a franchise. Huh? You just come in, you yeah. pay the fee, and then you're done. You wow. Exactly. All the, so, and a credit repair franchise almost. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing was that I then learned that it wasn't about credit repair. Obviously, I went in there with that mindset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. then she said, the company we work for is the United Wealth Educators, and the service okay. we offer is the United Credit Education Services. Mm. Got it. So I was like, wealth, credit, like, all right, now you're trying to make me a financial guru, <laughs> like, girl, like one step at a time. Yeah. And that's when I realized uh, the immense effect that your credit score has in you generating wealth and not just wealth, but generational wealth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. So after the fourth cycle, which if you do the math, it's over eight months. Yeah, over eight right? months. Yeah. For a lot of people, that's like, I'm not going to wait eight months. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I ruined my credit the last fifteen years, but I want it fixed. <laughs> I right, want right, it yeah, fixed yeah, in right. three days. Okay, <laughs> you know, ten percent interest right? on everything. Uh, so credit cards, forty percent interest. I was, <laughs> I was six years in. I was six years in with that credit score, and I was okay with it. When I needed a car, I couldn't just go like, okay, I'll come back, I'll fix my credit. No, I needed my car. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. know. So I got it at a thirteen percent APR. Yeah. yeah. Me too. You know? I've done that before too. And and yeah. what yep. are you gonna do? That's your credit score. Yeah. yeah. So 
after that last cycle, which was ending July, my my credit score went up to 727. Oh, nice. Wow, that's I awesome. Refinanced my car. I went from 397 to 281. So Look at those savings in just less than a year. And yeah. I, in yeah. less than a yeah, year. Yeah, so you, you think about that, right? Mm -hmm. If you're saving $100 a month, and it only took you how many months? Like it a year? It took me a little over eight months. Okay, so over eight months. Now you're going to save over the next, you know, five years or whatever, $100. Yep. You already made your money back exactly. times. Exactly. You know? <laughs> and that's not even the, the crazy part. The crazy part about the education services is that they teach you the fundamentals of finances, mm. budgeting, and how to strategically pay off your debts. That's amazing. Ah, that's how gotcha. I was able to strategically pay for credit restoration. Okay. And strategically pay for such a high APR yeah. because they were educating me on how to budget my finances, mm -hmm. prioritize myself, time block. It became much more than credit. It became a personal development, sem like a personal yeah. deve development seminar with a compensation plan for yeah. me. Yeah. Wow. So at that point, that's when I said, I believe in credit. I believe in credit. I mm -hmm. saw the results with myself and I continue seeing them with my clients. Okay. There's one or two clients that I haven't gotten results for in more than six months because all of their accounts are verifiable in theirs. Mm. Okay. Um, but then there's a second part to it. You don't know you if the dispute process isn't resulting to how you would like it to. Mm -hmm. There is now a negotiations state that yeah. most people yeah. just want to go straight into. Okay. okay. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because I, I actually... I made that mistake of uh, of going with a company that because my credit was it was bad three years ago, and was it Lexington Law? Don't lie to me. It was. <laughs> it, I'll, I'll be honest. It was like close to Lexington. It was. Okay. I was. It was like debt consolidation something. I was There's like, so oh. many. <laughs> yeah. So many. yeah, I almost did it too, but I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so I went. I went and did that, and then it was. Uh, it was just terrible because. Um, they negotiated, like I had two credit cards that they're negotiating and when they were negotiating, they, um, they, they like, they were doing it and they're like, Oh, you're gonna have to pay this much per month. I'm like, what the heck? And I was like, you know what? Let me try Let me try just doing a credit, credit repair place. So I went to do credit repair place. They, um, the first people I had garbage so, second people I had, I, I used them way, way back like 10 years ago and it, it worked. But the problem is, is like, uh, what was it? Uh, six months ago, they actually, con uh, the bank was trying, they actually sued me mm. because I went through the debt consolidation and they were they negotiated a deal for me. And since they negotiated a deal and I signed off on the deal, then they were able to legally sue me. Wow. And I had to pay that. What? That is crazy. How what? much was that, Josh? Just uh, so, so <laughs> we the, just want to know for the, for the audience, I know, right? trying to get my business out there. No, it's fine. <laughs> uh, so I, I, that card, it was like a seven a or $8,000 <laughs> balance. And I, oh. it was like a, I put it up to around 3000 and they negotiated it. And at the end of the day, I still paid the 3000. Okay. <laughs> so here's the scary part about debt consolidation. It's. It's you giving up your your legal rights. Yeah, no, under, I, I found that out now. Yeah, under, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the Federal <laughs> Credit Reporting Act of 1970. I mean, that is there's so many laws for the consumers that protects them. And again, this is just all self education. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, and you can definitely fact check me if you want to check it out. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> um. But you know it. It, pr it allows a consumer to not only dispute any negative, it also allows a consumer to consolidate on their own. Mm. Um, and that all it requires is proper jargon, to be completely honest, and it requires okay. legal statutes to be mentioned in those disputes. Gotcha. And the hard part about consolidating with a debt company that maybe isn't attached <clears throat> to a legal attorney that is experienced in credit jargon, because mm -hmm. it is a thing, Yeah. you okay. know, then yeah. at that point all you're doing is kind of verifying everything as yours yep. yeah. and telling yeah. them, yep, this is mine and I can pay it, but I don't want to pay it exactly. versus stating like, it's my legal right to dispute this. Yeah. Oh. And I yeah. can, I can legally tell you that I, I can pay you a certain lump sum, you know, so there, there, there's a different way of going about it to get yep. you different gotcha. results. And, yeah. okay. and that's also why I felt like having this was different. I did go through LL. I won't say their name again. <laughs> <laughs> I did go through LL in 2017 um cuz I had paid a medical bill that was $4,673. That's the crazy thing about uh about <laughs> medical bills is you 
I'm not saying don't pay your medical bills, but they don't you, really count. You don't that have towards to. You. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's like they're not that they're not, they're not that impacting. Let me just but, correct both of you yeah. so I can help this out. Did please please please. please. <laughs> our goal is to be law-abiding citizens yeah. yes. and pay our dues. Oh yeah yeah. Um, however, yeah. Um, my case was that I did pay it, and it was a closed account that was still being reported as negative for six years. Oh wow! Um, oh, so I didn't okay. monitor my credit, which is an important part of credit restoration. Seeing how your credit is moving based on the actions you're taking on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. You know, because it's um, direct correlation to your behaviors financially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what happened there is the medical bills. It's it's a fickle thing. You know, it's. Uh, it's a medical company. It's nothing legal. It's just a company. It's asking you for a bill to be paid, and then they sell it for cents on a dollar. Mm -hmm. And then if that company doesn't get anything from you, they continue selling it for cents on a dollar okay. until you decide to one day pay it. Wow. Mm. Yeah, you know? I've seen a couple of different companies that have the same bill, and they're like, well, no. and then once they get it, they'll like hit you up every so often, right? And it mm -hmm. goes away for like a good couple months. And then once somebody, like a new account or a new company gets it, yeah. they start hitting mm -hmm. you up again. <laughs> Here's my biggest advice to everybody that's watching. Yes. Somebody calls you and they ask you to verify your information for a potential collection. Your response should always be, if you have my accurate verifiable information, please mail me this information. Mm. Okay. Okay. Do yeah. not verify it. Oh, can I have your address then, please? If you yeah, have my always, accurate yeah. information, please mail it to me. Yeah. 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 Well, what's your full name? So I make sure if you have my accurate information. Okay. Please put. You just got to push back. Yeah. Because the truth of the matter is 80% of credit reports <clears throat> are. Yeah. Inaccurate. Incorrect. Okay. Erroneous. Inaccurate. I know a lot of juniors that are having their parents' debts put in their, in their report. Mm. Oh. You know, the bureaus aren't a machine. The bureaus are a compilation of humans processing information. Okay. And if you've ever played telephone. Mm-hmm. Information yep. gets very diluted. Mm -hmm. yeah, every time, yeah. yeah, I know. Every time they sell yeah. it, uh, yeah. yeah, every time they sell it, it's like they miss information. Your your email might get lost. Now yeah. your now your address. Every time, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So it's yeah. it's great. I think my most recent. I don't know if I'm allowed to say. I'll say her name. I won't say her last name. But my most recent thing was with Cecilia, and they had her since she was able to have credit as Cecilio. Oh. You know, oh. I always get my la you know, I have hyphenated last yeah. names like Gonzalez Chavez. They always like do that. They'll put like Chavez or like Gon Chavez. And I'm like, what? You the do hell? realize that's not you anymore, though, right? Yeah, no, I know. So, oh, okay. if anything that yeah. is being marked with your inaccurate information legally, you have the right to dispute that to be removed. Okay. So, that's what I did with her. I asked our that's credit, perfect, you yeah. know, I asked our credit attorneys and I showed them the, the bill that they got from IC Systems, which is a very common collection company mm. out here. Mm -hmm. Um, asking for Cecilio Blank, you know, their their last name, um, giving them the different bills that they had. And I noticed that a lot of the collections that she had, she had 24, just so you know, um, a lot of them had the wrong name. So yeah. I told our processing center, I'm going to like address <coughs> this immediately. They're like, well, you should call the, I, I don't know if they meant to advise, but they said, well, maybe you should call them and see if they have their name right. And I was like, I don't want to call them. Yeah, yeah. I want you to dispute this as incorrect information. Yeah. And okay, they that said, makes sense, yeah. oh, well, yeah, definitely. Let's get to it. They got all the account numbers. They disputed the 24 accounts. And I wish I can show you guys. Or I should have been prepared. But we, we believe oh, you. I, I have some. Um, we, we believe you. Know, you. <laughs> but she got 10 of them removed. And she got that advised in 42 days. Oh, wow. That is amazing. In 42 days. Yeah. Um, she got 10 That's of them. That's half. It's yeah, basically yeah, half. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and it was just because they had her name spelled wrong. Mm. And that is so, so common. Mm. So common. So I tell people all the time, even if in your heart, you know, all your accounts are yours and you're stagnant in raising your credit score, it's because of two reasons. Mm -hmm. One is because <clears throat> you haven't been proactive in terms of knowing what your credit score is compiled of, payment history. Yeah. 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 You know, that's 35%. Just pay your bills on time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know, the other thing is the length of your history. Um, your credit card utilization is 30%. So mm -hmm. just payment history and your credit card utilization is 65% of your score. Wow. Jeez. I didn't even think about that. But I know it's 35% for the payment history because everything, all my stuff is on auto pay. You're all like, <laughs> I, I always keep track of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be late. Okay. But that doesn't help me get to another level, though. Like, it, it, it helps me to an. It to helps a, you maintain yeah, it. It helps me, right? For but sure. It doesn't get me to like the 750 or the 780 or whatever, right? Because that's only 35%. Yeah. Now I yeah. get so it. So then you okay. have to kind of, it's a strategy. You know, there's a rule book. 
you follow the rules yeah. and you win. Yeah. And everyone could win if they all follow the rules, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so I have a question. So based on that, uh, like the credit credit utilization. So with a credit card, because uh, I, I know that the rule of thumb is you don't want to, if you use it, don't pay it all off at the same time. You just want to kind of pay it back in payments. Yeah. But like, what's the sweet spot when it comes to cre- credit card <laughs> utilization, I guess? Yeah. Um, a lot of it. A lot of it has oh. to do with um, auto payments is great, you know, because credit okay. cards do have yeah. the ability to yeah. auto pay their minimum. I don't believe you should ever pay the minimum. I think you should strategize mathematically. Okay. So if we want to say a thousand dollars, we know that it's best for you to keep that credit card by the end of the month at three hundred dollars or less mm-hmm. by the end of the month. Yeah, because the thirty percent utilization. Mm-hmm. Got it. It looks okay. great if you do more than one payment on your credit card because yeah. that can result in the credit card company uh, enhancing your maximums. Um, okay. Technically, they have forty five days to inform you of hiring or lower the in, the interest, so they can even tell you like, hey, like your behavior has been so great. So we'll lower your interest. Mm. Um, so things like that. And I always okay. tell people, try on the 15th and three days before the end of the month to bring your money down to at least the 30%. Though the sweet spot the sweet spot mm-hmm. is 9% to okay. really see that point increase. 9%? I know a lot of people don't talk about it because they're okay. all like 30%. Um, because I thought it was I thought it was ten as well. I mean, uh, thirty percent. Yeah, I mean, it is thirty percent. Yeah, because that's be, what's going to keep this you. Sweet, yeah, it'll affect you negatively if you go over thirty percent. Got it. It'll maintain your credit score if you keep it at a thirty percent. Mm. But if you want to really see a push and boost on your credit you score, go, right and s- score, yep. you want to put that at nine percent. So if you have, gotcha. you know, your a thousand dollars, I know it sounds crazy to bring it down to ninety, but if you put it in your mindset to not ever spend more than three hundred dollars on that thousand max card, yeah, it's very easy to bring down your payments from three hundred to ninety. Yep. Okay. And two payments in a yeah. month. Right? Gotcha. So. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Wow. <laughs> I'm excited now. I didn't. I didn't. I did not <laughs> know that at all. Even though credit is so boring, but it gets I mean, exciting. no, no, it's, it's credit boring until it qualifies you for a million dollar house. Well, and, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and when you start learning, like you said, leverage it too, right? Because yeah. that's the beauty of it. I mean, it, I I think my credit score is maybe seven hundred right now. Maybe I I, I think it's like seven hundred. It's nice. It's a sweet. It's it's, it's an okay. Song, it's okay, know? right? You don't have to flex. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I'm a seven, you know, I'm a I didn't say seven fifty, so, bro. You know? Yeah, exactly. No, she's she's. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I think that once you learn how to use credit, mm-hmm. you can leverage it and yeah. you can make like, you know, huge, huge moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Huge moves. I yeah. mean, don't buy a car. Don't buy the nice purse. Don't buy if you put a purse on, if you I put a purse on credit, oh man, uh, come on now. I know people. Dude, oh, I, I know a prob- bunch of people. She like, probably oh. seen it. People put I've like, seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I've seen it for shoes. I've seen it for oh, purses. No. And I tell people, if you haven't bought your asset, that's going to one day bring you cash flow. Yeah. You're working against that. yourself. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You really are. Um, and if you're fortunate enough to make an abundance of money and not live paycheck to paycheck, why would you still not leverage somebody else's yeah, money? Yep. Yeah, yep. exactly. Why would you risk your own money? Yep. Come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. 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 But so, I, I'm guilty of uh, of getting, because when I was like 18 or 19, I was like, oh, let me get like a nice stereo for my car, all right? this stuff. And that's exactly what I did. But then the, the, the loan center. <laughs> <laughs> but then the value of, of trying to pay it back, it's like, oh, I already have this nice shiny thing. And yeah. nah. you don't want you know, it. Then that's when yeah. I was younger, I let it go to crap. But then it, once I I buy something now where it's like valuable. Mm-hmm. I on a credit card, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll pay on it because yeah. I see the value. Well, I'm older too, yeah. but I see the value in it too. Well, that's, so. that's where, and I hate that the word is used so connotatively, but that's where the manipulation comes in, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want to manipulate when you do and when you don't. Um, you yep. have to make sure that you know the percentages and how every move you make will <laughs> affect you, right? I know mm-hmm. now. That bringing my credit score because I have it at a 57 max because of Christmas, it's already March and I haven't really like, <laughs> you know, but I know if I bring it down to 30%, yeah. you know, for me, that's another 27 to 42 points, depending yeah. on how, like once you start really seeing it in, mm. in a mathematical way, yeah. 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 you can really start. It, it's just like anything. It really is. It really is. You got to know how many minutes on your microwave, your popcorn will pop. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna burn them, or they'll be weird. And it's yeah. true. Yeah, that's yeah, true. So, so, okay. it, so yeah. is it? Um, cause I've been trying to have like people explain this to me, but I, I still don't get it. Which is, uh, like, why would I get a credit card? <laughs> I mean, and then I, I have think, a follow up question to okay. that as well. I'm excited for your follow up question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, Sorry. for for the credit card, and this is again coming from the girl who didn't get her first credit card till you know just about a year and a half ago. The benefit of credit, getting a credit card, first off, is having a variety of credit trade lines because that is a certain percentage of your credit score. Okay. That's 5%. And I know. But, but isn't it like you, you don't want to have too cent. many credit or trade lines? Or uh, I don't know. Uh, see, I'm educated yeah. when it comes to credit, but to a point. And I'm always <laughs> like. The basic. I'm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the basic information. If, if they wanna, must know. If you want to bring it to the basics, you know, you have the payment history at 35%. Yeah. yeah. You have your credit card utilization at 30%. Okay. okay. And the accounts that you have, the variety of accounts, that's 15% of your credit score. Okay. Right. So, and then from there you go for length of history, which is another fifteen percent. Oh yeah. And then from there you have inquiries, which is five percent. Mm. Gotcha. Right? Okay. So, being aware that having more accounts is better for you. Now, again, it goes back to the manipulation and the time frames that you yes, decide to do that's things. True. Mm-hmm. Um, my first ever trade line was as an authorized user on somebody <clears throat> who had eleven years of history. Mm. So oh, okay. I started with an amazing credit score. Wow. When they dropped me from their credit card, I didn't have any credit trade line, and I had zero history. That pummeled okay. me down to the five thirty five. Gotcha. Oh, okay. so, so if that's you where I so started. if you were to get a a credit card at that point in time, uh, while you were authorized user, mm-hmm. and then you would have that history, and then you'd want to jump right back back off. I, uh, I mean, I would or, have never wanted to Or he to would take you, or they would take you off. Yeah, because mm. 11 years of history is great. You want to be six years and more. And, and yeah. people think like, how am I going to just poof years? And authorized user is one of the best example. Okay. You know, so I tell people all the time, mm. if you have no history, but you have like a grandma that has a Marshall's card from 1989 that she's always paid off, <laughs> have her make you an authorized user. And I did that to my friend Jasmine. You know, hi, Jasmine. Um, I did that to my friend Jasmine. She jumped on Gloria's um, um, Marshall's card and she went from having a couple months of history to a couple years of history. Mm. And that helped her. But to answer your question, it helps with credit trade lines variability because you want to show, again, credit score. Oh, that you you could balance. That you can manage. Your credit score is a direct correlation as who you are as a borrower. And if you're just using one credit card as your credit trade line, it looks like you're good at that one thing. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Then you have a car loan, which is a different type, you know, so credit cards gotcha. is revolving. Mm-hmm. Car loan is payments. Gotcha, okay. gotcha. Mortgage is payments with interest. And, you know, so those are different okay. types of credit trade lines. Gotcha. And you want to have, yeah, yeah. you want to have a variety so you can show that you're very reliable. So that's why sometimes I have trolls come on my page and they're all like, oh, like I did all these like, things i'm already in 780 but there's no way for me to go to 800 because i would have to get more credit cards and i'm like well having credit cards paying your stuff on time yeah. and you know keeping your utilization low that's not all the components of your credit right. yeah. there's right, ways yeah. and that's okay. that's you know that's the importance of having a variety you want to yeah. show that yeah. you're a reliable borrower gotcha okay yeah because i i because yeah, yeah i am that person that only has one credit card <laughs> <laughs> well, i had my apple card forever and then I had my, my, well, I had my son before I even got my Apple card. Um, but then I got my Apple card. Mm-hmm. I had like a $2,000 limit. And the first thing I did was authorize my son to use it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he can have history. So he has more history than I ever did at the age of like oh. 20. So you know? th- that's what you recommend. Like, for example, my son is 18 months. Obviously, he's not using a credit card. No, but why not give him but, your history? Okay. So that's what I was going to ask. Like, yeah. if I was to add him to one of my credit cards... It's just basically like is he's getting that history, history already. Now remember, it's the good history and the bad history. Okay. So leave your son with the legacy of good behavior. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. You, if you feel like you're not very reliable with your credit card and you're still okay. learning, um, and That's you, you have time to put them as an authorized yeah. user to yeah. learn how to budget your funds enough to look like a great borrower right yeah so all the good and all the bad and that's what i tell my friends too like make sure you're going with a reliable person that's going to put you as an authorized user because if they have really bad habits you will also look like it that's why you brought up the grandmas because they got their shit together you know the grandma had their shit together (laughs) yes she did she was like their shit together yeah i need that card i only put you as an authorized user you ain't using my credit girl you know so 
Um, but yeah, that that's super key, super mm. key. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And you Damn, follow I learned so much question. already. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So that's first, my yeah. goal. <laughs> 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 so is is buying uh, or did, did you have a question? The before? Oh, no, no, oh. That's, that's, I was just gonna ask that. Um, the follow up question was, how does somebody get a credit card that you know? Because I always like my brother in law, for example. He's like, hey man, I need to get a credit card. How do I do it? So I told him this. I don't know if I did the right thing or not mm -hmm. to get a secure credit card. I love this follow-up question, and mm. I love that you already answered it. Okay. A secure credit card is a great way. It serves, so it works like a debit card. Yeah. Whereas you put in the first initial funds that you're going to put yeah. as your max balance. Yes, yes. And it reports your usage like a credit card. So no qualification or requirements are needed to, okay. to get one. Gotcha. And gotcha. you put your limit on yourself. I tell people all the time, don't put a thousand bucks and just let them go away. You know, put 200 bucks just so you can get yourself a credit trade line. Mm -hmm. Since mm -hmm. I work with a lot of people that have ITINs and their credit invisible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. how yeah, do they build they credit? Them, yeah. Yeah. Most of them just go, I'll never be able to do it. I'll never be able to buy a house. I'll never be able to, I'll just have to work. That's what they do. So yeah. they don't mm -hmm. have, and because they've already tried it, they start with negative credit. Yeah. So they start inquiring, 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 and they don't get qualified and it leads it to like credit is evil. It's you know? a yeah. vicious cycle, yeah. You know, yeah. so it's that. Just the secure credit cards, there's many different forms. Um, my company actually provides a secure credit card as well. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. So we try cool. to cover all rays. Okay. People who need credit restoration, people who need credit building, mm -hmm. people who've already built their credit. We educate people on how to leverage their credit to buy assets. And from there, yeah. we teach them how to manage their money through budgeting and debt payoff tools so they can save on their interest over mm. time. So it, it it's very evolutionary, mm. very evolutionary. That's wow. pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah that's great. That's and, and how long does it take, Remy, for like, you know, let's say I get a secure credit card, right, uh, to for it to show? Like, mm. what's the time frame on that? Well, a great example would be my friend Elizabeth. I used to work with her at Denny's, the one on Las Vegas Boulevard. Um, nice. About nice. Al almost it's been a long time. It's been almost four four years ago, almost five years ago. Yeah. Um, she had reached out and she told me like, hey, like, I know for sure I didn't pay my school loans and I know my credit is horrible. Mm -hmm. Well, we checked her credit and it said she's never had credit history. Okay. Ever. So she was credit invisible. And yeah. I said, look, like there's two things we can do, which we also offer is credit my rent, mm -hmm. which is a strategic way to use your lease payments that you oh. made on time. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. So that can get you up to two years of credit history just like this. Wow. Um, and the secure card is a great one because, you know, credit my rent will help with your credit history, which we know is 15%. Yeah. Um, but the secure card helps with the variety and with the utilization. Okay. So at that, that point, sense. that's 35%. Mm. Uh, and then if you pay it on time, you add the 65%. Uh, plus a five seventy percent manipulation there, yeah. Yeah. so that's yeah. why the secure card is definitely better than just the credit my rent. But if you put it all together, damn, you know that is crazy. Dude. Yeah, so the secure yeah. the secure card is great. Um, okay. The only thing I tell people is that that first payment you make, it's gonna be your max, and it's not something you can just remove and say, okay, I'm done with the secure card. Like this is your permanent credit trade line. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you won't technically see the $200 like that again. You can see it in usage, but you have to return it to yourself yes. every time. Yeah. So that's the only thing. And for Elizabeth, um, she told me September 29th, we got her the secured card in October 2nd. Um, and by November 4th, she had gotten a report through Credit Karma and she went from zero to 657. Wow. Holy crap. So that she, is a big jump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just by having that. And, wow. and because okay. we did credit my rent thereafter, so that showed that she had history as well. Mm -hmm. And then it also showed that she's had 100% payment history. So yep. again, you yeah. do the math. Yeah. Yes, it was a big jump for her. And that's qualified for a loan. That's gotcha. a conventional loan right there. It Isn't is. it 640? Right. Yeah, yeah, 640, 640 uh, yeah. Please do not, in fact, you know, just this fact This is not financial <laughs> advice. I am not an expert lender, but I believe I'm 640. Not an expert yeah, I think they taught me to say that yeah. at school. You are only yeah. a specialist in your area. <laughs> yep. So, you know, but I believe it's 640 for a conventional loan. And that's gotcha. the type of loan you want. Yeah. 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 Right, just like there. that, huh? Wow. And and okay. with, with your with uh, your company's secured card, uh, does, does it just stay secured after you pay like a certain amount on time or... Uh, is there an option to have it unsecured at that point? Or that's when you just go out and get a credit card? Mm -hmm. 
at that point, you're qualified to actually get a credit gotcha. card. Gotcha. Yeah, because okay. yeah. uh, you go to the 650 credit score or whatever, right? Yeah. Six in the 600s. The yeah. great part about having a great credit score is that once you are able to get a, get a, a credit card, mm -hmm. you know, they extend your min your maximums sometimes yeah. without letting you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that can be a double-edged sword. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> Go like, buy a car uh, on a credit I mean, card. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, I went from 2000 to 5,250, and they didn't let me know, and I was like, yeah, so now I can spend more. Yep. You know, yeah. And that, if I just kept the, okay, my limit is 2,000. Do mm -hmm. not use more than 600. If I would have kept that same discipline that yeah. I had already, yep. I would have never... Yeah, you know. that happened to me. You know, hey, I we're all oh yeah. human. I got a credit card. Human. It was American <laughs> Express, you know, and, uh, and then I got like a Those thirty thousand limit. And oh, I went up, I went up man. to uh, yeah, so I went up to twenty thousand. Yeah. Nice. And, uh, yeah, nice. <laughs> I guess what? Let me, let me what did you do this? with it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like about just, to ask you, what did you buy with twenty thousand? What did 20, you buy with this, Alo? I bought so much crap, like all kinds of stuff, right? I paid bills. I that's bought, funny like, how you uh, don't even uh, know what you I bought. Don't know <laughs> <laughs> you like the crap, and that's the old one. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> right. yeah, exactly, exactly. Like I don't even know what I bought. Like it's gone, you know. But that was crazy because it was like up in twenty thousand, right? I paid it off already, but yeah. you know, and that was like five years ago. But it, it's just crazy how it could happen so quickly. Yeah. Too. It was like in less yeah. than six months. Yeah. You know, it's it's yeah, it's a beautiful thing and a scary thing. Yeah, I think I got bottle service, maybe. Yeah, I got bottle service. <laughs> I always we ask live in people, Vegas. I know. I always ask people um, like, what do you have to show for it? Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. What do you have to show for it? And um, yeah. Some girls are like, well, look at this purse, you know, and that's okay. It ain't oh. hers. And, and no, <laughs> right. no, it's okay. It is. It is. It's I, okay I get it. If you I was just, if I was you just, just you know, like, yeah. if you learn how to manage yeah. yourself, it makes you happy, which right? Is, yeah. You know, if it makes you happy, that's great. But if it makes you wealthy, that's better. Yeah, yeah I like so, that. I like that. You know, just you know, keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. Prioritize. I, I did find myself ending up being very financially literate, literate because that of is this. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. And and that only took what, Remy? Like you said, like eight months. Um, it took me eight months to get the results, mm -hmm. and I've been with the United Wealth Educators uh, servicing yeah. with the United uh, yeah. Credit Education for a year and four months now. Mm, nice. And I've been promoted a couple of times already, and That's I awesome. I've been able to just just by providing the service to people, I'm educating. You know, they say you know the. <clears throat> Pot of one never becomes a master until he starts teaching. Yeah, so yeah. So it, it's yeah. definitely True. yes, Star Wars. Um, <laughs> so Pot of one. Yeah, at that point, you know, like you, you really find yourself. I I realized it was about caring, and knowing when to care. Yeah, it's different than in real estate where you just call, 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 call. Yeah. Um, with credit, I I let people reach out to me. Okay. Like yeah, you have to because you, you can't yeah. just. That's it's a weird conversation. Like, hey, you got yeah. bad credit? Yeah. You, wanna, you need help? It's not even that. It's not <laughs> even you that. I promise that. <laughs> I assure you that people that have bad credit know they have bad credit. Yeah. You know, yeah. It, you can yeah. see it I in their it. bills. Yeah. You can yep. see it in their stress levels. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not even that. I think it's the intention. Like, who has the intention and the mindset? And are you willing to learn how to have the mindset? Yeah. Like a lot mm -hmm. of people don't don't they think it's like oh you have to be wealthy you have to be silver spoon fed like you have to know this to like create generational wealth and that's not true right you know right. and it's just like a block that we yeah. have a block that i had you know yeah and i did too and that's something that i had to learn with this as well like yeah i can't go to everyone and try to help everyone in something that they feel they don't need help in because they're doing all right paying they gotta extra that's yeah. very true yeah. Yeah. you know you're right they got to be the ones that want to they make that change to. right they yep. really yeah. do they yep. really do because that credit score let me tell you it's the first step to anything to wealth yeah yeah yeah, yeah very yeah. true very true so um i know you talked about uh what was it it was uh <clears throat> uh student loans Oh, ah, yeah. Uh -huh. so, I, <laughs> so I was, I was seeing right. uh, if you had any like success. I was hoping he'd never ask. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Who wants to know about student loans? No, oh. look, uh, yeah. Those student loans time. are a fickle thing. I've, I've been saying fickle a lot. Just, just cut me off. You I, said, you I, said I it twice so far, and that's twice. Yeah, only twice. Okay. Just so you know. Okay. I counted it. That student loans is a weird thing. You know, okay. It, uh, it's okay. um, it's a federal loan, so you yeah. have to pay it back. Oh yeah, and yeah. Uncle yeah. Sam's not gonna let you off the hook. Not like the medical collection. But oh, can yeah. I pay a dollar a month? 
So Ooh, we have student like loan. It, it is a great question. But yeah. just like any other loan and just like any other agreement that you made, mm -hmm. you're paying a certain interest. Yeah. So you want to pay it off sooner than later. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but there are student loan uh, forgiveness letters. Oh. Oh, really? Yes. It, it, and oh, that okay. is just a whole nother debt of a conversation. Um, I but was just going to ask, how do I send the letter? <laughs> we can de I could definitely you show you some templates, that? but okay. just to kind of really cut it in, in short, mm -hmm. you know, the loan is a loan. Okay. You owe it, you owe it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. However, circumstances exist yeah. and you have consumer rights. Okay. Okay. Even as a student, you're, you're paying for an education. Mm -hmm. So it's not just like it's permanent. <clears throat> I've seen people settle student mm. loans. I've seen okay. people reduce the amount they owe. Okay. I've seen people with the forgiveness letters have multiple different sponsors to pay off the loan. Okay. That is. What do you mean by sponsors? So there's companies out there, you know, that for whatever reason, X, Y, and Z, they get benefit from trying to help students pay these loans off because they also get pennies of. On the dot, yeah. Um, okay. oh. Again, it's just a whole oh. nother. I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't know that either. Yeah. Our company just finished offering it. Like, it's something that just happened. We came back from um, Texas in January, and they were like, this is something that apparently keeps getting addressed, mm -hmm. and we don't know how to help people, so we they partnered with people that could. Wow. Um, and I'll be honest with you. I'm still learning the details of it myself. Yeah. I never, I was blessed to never have student loans because, mm -hmm. again, I'm big on work ethic. I applied to 73 scholarships and three, four got me through college. Oh, that's so, awesome. That's awesome. Uh, I yeah, never I had I to worry about student loans. I wish loans. I would have done that, but I was just Everybody's ready to go giving to money away in this country, man. Like, you just got to find it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just got to find it. Write a yep. quick essay, copy, paste it for the next one, and wow. you just be intentional about it. <laughs> that word intention is big on everything you decide yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. true. Congrats, that's great, Remy. That's Thank a great you. um uh, story. But I didn't do veterinary <laughs> medicine, so <laughs> I'm doing real estate. But I'm you know sorry. what, though? You still learn all kinds of stuff in college, you know what I mean? The discipline like, I yeah, have Yeah, you learn so much and the definitely. work ethic, and look at where you're at now. You're a real estate agent, you're doing credit, you're doing everything. Now you're teaching us here what to do. Yeah. So <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's crazy, right? <laughs> it yeah, is crazy how yeah. everything just kind of... Oh, yeah. And it is really yeah. a circle around for me. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's just one big circle because yep, yep. it goes back to the same thing. You have a structure. School is a structure that they set in place for us. Now it's just us doing it for ourselves, yeah. depending on what we want to accomplish. Agreed, if it's credit yeah. repair, put yourself in a structure and be disciplined and intentional about it and resort to the professionals. Yeah, yeah that's, that's I, very I, true. I agree with you on that 100%. Okay. <laughs> you can look up on YouTube how to put together the carburetor and the water valves yep. and everything yep. that makes mm -hmm. up an engine, but you'll still want to pay $4,000 for a professional to do it. Yep. Yeah, but I if agree. you're rebuilding your engine, just get a new car. <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah, However, you everything's car. possible. Yeah. All education is in yep. the Palm of your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So you have a choice. Endeavor in the education and practice it through trial and error mm -hmm. or resort to the professionals. Yep. and get the results yep. and move I from agree. there. That, that reminds me in real estate how, you know, people are like, oh, I'll just sell my own house. Oh, really? <laughs> I love his bows. <laughs> I, I, I love it too. I love it too. They're just... <laughs> we just made an addendum today for a Fizbo and I'm just thinking about that right now. I'm like, yeah, oh, we saved you. Yeah. Saved all the time. All the time. All the time. Yeah, <laughs> These yeah, realtors are heroes without the capes. You know? Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. You do real estate too, you said? as well I, I so do. you got your you got your license i do okay yes. sweet sweet that's awesome do you do you uh also like so w that's what that was actually one of my questions i was going to ask is so uh any of the people that do uh credit repair with you do you also help them try to purchase houses too yeah so actually I, I had brought this and i could definitely leave this with you guys here okay okay a, yeah it's a roadmap to buying your first home and the mindset is from renter to homeowner. Mm. Um, and that is the, awesome. Yeah, the services are to leverage your credit, build wealth, start with credit repair if you need it, oh, yeah. Or, yeah. or start with credit building tools if you need it. Because some people are stagnant on that, like 630, 600, and they yeah. don't yeah. know. But that's because they probably don't have a credit card, probably don't have the history. So mm. those are credit building tools. And then from there, wow. 640 plus a couple savings, which you can learn through yeah. budgeting yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah very true yeah. and you can achieve through you know debt payoff and and budgeting um then you can start your strategy financing um with a realtor 
offers and negotiations. That's amazing. I, I, I love wanted, that roadmap. I, I needed to make sure that if I was going to refer someone to a credit restoration company, they weren't just going to disappear on me. Oh, that is oh. That is genius. No, I've, I've actually had that happen. Yeah, because yeah. I've, I've, I've actually used one. Uh, I like to use companies that I like to refer. And if I don't use them, mm-hmm. I'll say, like, yeah, yeah, I, I don't. I, I'll disclose them. I have not used them. If I do mm-hmm. disclose, I'm like, hey, they're fucking good. Yeah. But <laughs> but <laughs> no, um, I've had somewhere I'm where. I'm not eating while you tell me to go eat, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you some good restaurants. Yeah, but right? uh, but no, so I've, I've used some credit places and like I use this. Uh, I don't want to knock them or anything, but they were, it was the mom and pop shop. I'll just, I'll just call them. Yeah. And. I would call them and they're like, oh, can you email me this, email me this, 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 that, like email me like everything. I'm like, okay, cool. And then they want me to sign off on documents. They want me to do this. They want me to do this. And I'm like, I don't have time to do this. Can you just do the, do your job? <laughs> and and then I would call them like 60 days later, no, it was 90 days later after paying them. It was, it was, mine was, my, me and my wife together was around probably 250 a month. Mm-hmm. And you know, I was like, cool. And then I would call them, oh, like 90 days later, oh, well, you didn't send me this uh, document, so I couldn't dispute it. What? So, like, it was just like, man. So, Sounds yeah, like trying to. a lot to, of uh, follow up and a lot of yes. stuff that you shouldn't be doing if you're paying somebody to do it. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. man, like, yeah. I, I, like, that's what, that's my thing is yeah. like, I don't want to follow up with uh, somebody if they're doing their, like, I'll call them once in a while, like, hey, how's everything going? Going yeah. good? Cool. Like, my, my Google guy. Mm-hmm. Hey, like, how's Google going? Like, I, I'm getting leads, I'm getting everything. Cool. And then, you know, I, I expect that through everyone's business, but like my wife always tells me, you can't expect everyone to be like you. I'm like, that's true. Amen. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. You know, that's right. why we, <laughs> that's why it's really difficult to get a team for us, Josh, because yeah. we, they don't do what we do, you know, and yeah. it's just difficult, right? You got to almost find like another you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's, it's hard to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's I really mean, hard to do. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. and then the no, yeah. the knowledge that you have is uh, it's actually really, really good. And there's I've talked to a lot of credit repair people, and they really haven't told me some of the things you've told me or answered it in a clear and concise way. Because I do credit repair, I do credit education. And, and th- that's my fault. That's my yeah. fault. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah, they do credit yeah. repair. I do credit ah, education. Yeah. Which is very different. We I through credit education, I help people. You do it all. With all the credit of it. restoration mm. and, and you come across very professional too oh thank that's you. the other thing too that a lot of credit people like when i talk to them is just like yeah we're gonna do this we're gonna do that yeah we just you meet them in the alley or something yeah. <laughs> 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 999 and i got one letter <laughs> <out> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> facebook marketplace for a minute <laughs> Like, where'd you go with yeah. my 150 yeah. bucks, bro? Yeah. Yeah. I repeat. My credit just got worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, it's crazy. real. It's real, guys. It's real. Be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it is. It is. That's what I'm saying. You know, you come across really professional. And I would want to, like, uh, if the way you're telling me things right now, I would want to sign up, like, to repair my credit. I can't do the, you know, the business side of it. You I, can, but it definitely requires you to, again, endeavor the yeah. education. Yes, yes. And I tell people all the time, the business module is actually made for referral. The company with itself <coughs> is a referral company. They yeah. do the yeah. education. They provide the app for the clients. They provide okay. the roadmap for the client. Mm-hmm. However, again, people are loyal to people, yep. not yep. to computers, yep. not Under- to roadmaps, not to the, com- you know, like what the video is telling you. They're loyal to me. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I want yeah. them to be loyal to me because I'm offering them a service, not just a service that works, but a person that cares. Yeah. 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 And and that's the one thing, like, I used to want to get agents all the time on my team. Mm-hmm. And then I realized how wasteful of energy that was. Cause, cause I was about to say that. <laughs> it's a yeah, lot of energy. Yeah. Um, yes, yes. Not because I wanted someone to be exactly like me because I did bail on myself the first 10 months. You know, mm. I could have been working this business from when I started, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but the thing <clears throat> is that you have to see it mathematically. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to be a hands-off agent, that's perfectly fine. But at least know how to launch people enough for them to correlate the service yeah. to you. If you just say... I'm gonna send you to a credit person and then disappear and then reach back in three months. You in no way correlated the oh, service yeah. to you, even if it worked. Yeah. Because at yeah. that point they're talking to somebody else. And then trust right, the other yeah. person. And then yeah. trust the other person. So I have a lot of realtors tell me, like, oh, like I wanna send you 
a client mm -hmm. and I'm very thorough with CCing them in every email. Uh, I Got have it. a CRM for my clients so that oh, I nice. can be more hands. Again, structures in place. You yeah, have you to have it. Yeah. yeah. So especially with the work that I do. So yeah. I, I reach out to the agents. This is what they're doing. Steve Lee is the best example of you. You know, Steve Lee from Celebrity Home Loans. He's a lender. Yeah. And um, I'm working on some of his clients. And the second she's ready, like, there you go. Goes oh, back nice. to you. Okay. But it's because I connect the other person. The other person doesn't have to follow up if they don't want to. Yep. You know, yeah. I as, and then from there, if Steve Lee has another realtor they want to give it, that's on him. You know, well, however, we created come. a relationship. Yeah, that's yep. And that's the thing. That like, we created a relationship where he's like, look, if you help me help my clients, I can help you again. That's awesome. Yeah. You can help me again. You, and yeah. we can help them. Yeah. Win. You know, and, and then it all goes. I tell people, like, if you're a shark and you care about the money, just correlate to the follow up being in the fortune. Yep. And, that, and that's and that's that's, that's one of my that's one of my like big philosophies is uh, like that's one of my things I got into real estate when I was like, you know what? I can't chase the money. I want to chase right. my dreams, chase what I want to do and do it the best I can do it. And I've d I did that. And then the money just comes along. Yeah. And, that, and that's with anything. Like I've seen it with everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you know, if it's if it's rap artists, whatever it is, they chase their passion. Mm -hmm. They're they're eating dirt, and then you know they stay true to it. And yeah. at the end, you know, they're eating eating steaks and everything. So yeah, that's that's how it is too. Like I I never really chase the money. Like yeah. it's like I just want to help people, right? And then the money comes with it because you even really if have I, to yeah. want to. Yeah, really? even if I take a cut on like a client because I need to pay part of their closing cost, guess what? They gotta yep. send me another two, three, four clients. Yeah, it's exactly. an investment. It's yeah. an investment. It's an investment. Yeah, exactly. So yes. you know. Yeah. I, I think exactly. That's, yeah. Even though I am a shark. I guess I, I'm more of a dolphin. I, I, guess, I guess I'm a vegetarian but I play shark. With the sharks, okay. <laughs> I guess I'm a vegetarian. No, no, yeah. 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 But there's different ways, right, of doing it. You know, you can be a shark and you can just be a shark for your clients. Yeah, shark is not yeah. a negative thing. People shark look at just it as means a bad people thing, that like move forward yeah. and they have their goal. Yeah. At, you know, and they do it in a certain way. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I use a little animals. You know, but dolphins are the social people, the ones that, but they'll kill you. <laughs> oh, <really? Okay>. they, <laughs> dolphins look nice and friendly i thought they just wanted you know, to swim and with them <laughs> but you know yeah. they kill sharks yeah you yeah know? they do yes yeah. they do oh, look okay. in his what is uh, it national geographic yeah yeah we'll go google. to nat geo <laughs> google that <laughs> we'll go to nat geo <laughs> so uh, what i'm saying is that oh, results shit. are different i yeah. mean results are same but mm -hmm. execution is different yeah, yeah. 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 and you have to adapt so it's it's fair to say you can be both you yeah. know, but most most people fall under one category, mm -hmm. and that's why I try to do it both ways. You have to care about people, and if you care about the money, the more people you care about, the more money will flow through. Oh you. yes, yes. You know, so just and and all I can end saying this in mm -hmm. real estate or in anything that you want to do, you have to be the source of of education. If you don't tell people your knowledge, or if you don't enhance your credibility. Mm -hmm. Or if you're constantly tossing them to different faces. Oh, yeah. I know, hate when people I hate do that. that. It, it'll definitely become a diluted process. Oh, yeah. 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 And and the only way to really keep the loyalty is to educate someone. Yeah. You know, I have a feeling that I'm going to be hearing from you guys soon because there is a method, you know, yeah. and it's yeah. about yeah. making sure you're thorough, educate people, mm -hmm. um, make sure you're professional. You know, I learned these from my parents, but. Yeah. Also be real. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you exactly. Know, you gotta, real, yeah. you know, it's, I can't there's all a, be, uh, there's a fine line between being like very professional and being real because yeah, I've, yeah. I've dealt with people where they're very professional and you're like, dude, you're boring. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Or, and then they people that are like yeah. too real and you're like, ah, can you calm you down a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm more on the real side. I'll be can honest. Calm down and a little bit. I did say I was from LA, you know, West oh. side. So, <laughs> yeah. but I, you know, you have to know when to yeah. fill it in. Certain yeah. information yeah. requires certain it requires a certain compo composure, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. credit is a very serious topic. Yeah, it yeah. is. It yeah. is. And, and I'm, again, like I tell people all the time, I gave myself the caption or the title of specialist and not expert. Cause I feel like specialist means that it's something that you're constantly working on, working yeah. on. Yeah. 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 Expert is someone who knows it. Yeah. And yeah. I just feel like credit's yeah. ever malleable mm -hmm. and Always changing. very yeah. circumstantial, very much like real yeah. estate. Mm -hmm. so yeah that's what that's i great. call myself I, I call myself more of a, like a consultant yeah 
Yeah. Cause I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm consulting people on like what they should do with their money. Cause I have people come to me like, Hey, well, what would you invest in this? I'm like, well, mm -hmm. how much you got? And then they'll tell me, I'm like, all right, this is what I would do. And they're like, Oh, that's, I, I'd rather just buy a house cash. Uh, -uh. you want to divide it all up and then buy yeah. the, well, I'm like, you, you ask me, you, yeah. you're, you're consulting me. So I'm giving you my honest opinion. This is what you yep. should do. This is how you build wealth. And they're like, okay, okay, okay. But it's, it's the same. It's the same thing is that's where it comes down to. Mm -hmm. It really just, it's. It's really scary because you would think they would teach us this in our formal education. You would think. Yeah, they, don't. <laughs> they don't. They don't. Like, yeah. can you please tell me when Thomas Jefferson? No. Yeah. Right. I would what's like the, to know what's how to do the square root of pi. Right. Right. Like, I don't know. Like, how do I do my finances? What how do I write a check? <laughs> I barely actually learned how to write a Is check a couple months pie? ago. I'm like, Are you <laughs> no, probably like a couple years ago. But I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, all right, my name. He doesn't know how to balance his checkbook. <laughs> I, I don't even balance yeah. it. Yeah. That's what QuickBooks is for. I know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Who uses, who uses paper checks? Uh, right. uh, I, I do, I, I do. Still do. Oh. My boss, me too. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan just asked me that. He's all like, oh, can you go to the bank, get yourself a check? I'm like, oh, I have my checkbook in the car. Mm -hmm. It's like. What what are you seventy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You never know when you need a check. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like um, one of my main topics for people is the fact that the formal education system neglects to educate oh. us on becoming financially literate because I hate it. Yeah. yeah, no, it's true. Because they're trying to produce employees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. You know? yeah. Yep, it's um, very if true. If everybody was financially literate, everybody would try to leverage the same thing, mm -hmm. and everybody would be self-employed or business owners though yep. you want to be a business owner yeah and that's the crazy yeah. thing is that like, i watched this video they said that basically i think it was 1934 they actually structured like uh, uh grades k through 12 and that's how they structured it and it's never changed since that time and wow. i'm just like yeah and i never that's thought crazy. of it like that but that's what that's 70 uh o over 100 almost not a hundred years, my almost, friend. Almost, almost. That was the something. Jeffersons' time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? I know the Jeffersons, that's for sure. <laughs> I shouldn't know, but I do know. Okay, um, That's crazy. I don't want to give my age away. Yeah. <laughs> they really won't take me seriously. Um, um, but the other thing, <clears throat> I don't know if this kind of correlates or goes hand to hand, but it made me think about our parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other yeah. resource of information we get. Yep. Like, yeah. I have immigrant parents. Me too. You yeah. know? Um. I'm first generation, and I was actually raised in Guadalajara for the first few oh, years nice. of my oh, life. I love Guadalajara. Yeah. yeah. That's I'm from I'm Guanajuato, from. which is like a couple You're hours. my neighbor. Yeah, you're yeah. my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I tell people all the time, like, it's your parents aren't your only resource. Yeah. Your computer is not your only resource. Yep. Your school is not your only resource. Yeah. So be open-minded. Yeah. And, and I great. do, I do see a lot of people too, where they, they try to do exactly what their, what their parents do, because that's how their parents taught them. Mm -hmm. And yep. that's where, that's the downfall of it all. Because like, that's, that's how it happened with me is, yeah. you know, I was learning how they did things with credit and, and all of that. And I'm like this, I, you know, I don't, they, they, they obviously didn't do well. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, so, okay, so like, what do parents, I learn? Yeah, and yeah. You, it's hard to find either people or things online because thing, especially things online, Google, mm -hmm. you know, how, how do I maintain credit? Fucking you read 10 <laughs> different things. You're like, what? Yeah. I know. Yeah. What? I just saw, I just saw a real. <laughs> Lexington law. What? Yeah, right. Don't say that <laughs> I looked it up. I was it's like, a bad word. It's a bad it's word. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, uh, so it goes with, hand in hand with what you said, that comment, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. schooling going back to 19. 32 and they structured it a certain way and yeah. they haven't changed it and a lot of people are like oh well now we have coding in school so we are evolving and then well coding's the next employee my friend yeah yeah, yeah. well yeah. well they, they had coding <laughs> like, back when i was in i think you're very you're a very smart employee <laughs> at that point yeah. but you're still, you're still an yeah. employee, employee. Yeah, yeah. they're bringing coding <clears throat> to the education system versus taxes yeah versus yeah, taxes. handling your car yeah versus you know, working on things like your credit mm -hmm. and learning financial literacy. And yeah. one of the other things that I think we should be taught instead of instead of or in addition to physical education is mental education. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people suffer from that. They don't, yeah. They never like yeah. mental and emotional intelligence is yeah. key to making financial decisions. I agree. It's and, very true. And, yeah. And but they'll do coding because it's the future, but that's the yeah. next employee. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. It is with okay. all very the true. Assembly line used to be the first employee. Yep. Mm -hmm. Henry Ford, 1930s. Yep. Yeah. Now yeah. coding 
is the next assembly line. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Except Amazon's instead of an going Aladdin. and standing next to each other, you're all in a cubicle with computers. Or at, or at home. Or at home. COVID. Yeah. Which, yeah. I mean. <laughs> a different type <laughs> of imprisonment. You know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. <coughs> you're not financially <coughs> free until you have <coughs> multiple streams of income. Yep. And until you can decide not to show up and you're still generating income. Yeah. 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 yeah I love that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So do you have anything else, Josh? Uh, it's 356. I know you say you had a... Oh, but, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. This has oh, no, you're no, fine. No, 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 this, that, that, actually, this is a great yeah, podcast. Yeah, I was going to say, this has been pretty uh, pretty awesome. You a lot of fun. It? Thank you. And, I mean, uh, I, it just flew they, by. They really just hit me up like a couple days ago. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I was like, what's the structure? What's the questions? I don't want to be wrong. I, I sent it like... 30 minutes ago. She, he really did. Shame <laughs> on me. Shame on me. It's like, oh, it's really general, you know. And was, we yeah. definitely delved in. So, no, this, yeah. this was, I knew you were going to kill it. Like, I've seen your stories, I've seen everything you do. So, even if I didn't send you anything, you were going to crush it. Thank uh, you and so thank much. you so much for uh, making it. And it, Oh, let me how, let me ask one question. Mm -hmm. Sorry to cut no, you ahead. off there, no, Zalo. Go, ahead. go ahead. Do it. Do it. Go ahead. How much are your services? Oh, Oh, we forgot that we forgot that. Oh my know, god. Right? Yeah, that's Come such on, a great question. question. I know. Right? Yeah, Everyone's yeah. gonna be like yeah, cliffhanger, yeah. like, what where's yeah. she at? Where'd she go? How much? Yeah, right? <laughs> so uh, right? Yeah. So yeah. the go services ahead. are on a monthly basis. Okay. And okay. it provides over twelve products like credit restoration, credit building tool, debt payoff. Okay. Uh, one cool. of my favorite, Will and Trust. You know, not even Prince had a will and his his assets. You also do you also do will and trust? We have power of attorney. Okay. So I told uh, you it's more of a financial thing in the end of it all yeah, because it's credit's just the first step. Okay. Okay. Then you get your assets through budgeting, through debt payoff, and then you protect your assets. Oh yeah. Right. All right. Yep. So you you organize, you build, and you protect. Yeah. I'm, I might have to is. talk to you about uh, trust and, and all that because mm -hmm. I, I know a little bit about it, but I want to know like the, the tax benefits. I want to know like just yeah. all the benefits of it, yeah. why I should keep it out of my LLC. We can keep going, okay? <laughs> That's, That's a whole you. different hour. That's I another know. podcast for I, know. I, 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 I might have to text my appointment <laughs> and say like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another, another 30 minutes. <laughs> so honestly, like, um, so oh, it uh, allows for so many more things and it has such a greater value than what it's worth. Mm -hmm. And what it's worth is based on what you need. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want to put one single value. I can tell you it's worth less than the Starbucks you get every oh, day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's So if a you get a Starbucks every day, it's worth less than that. Sometimes yeah. I get too. So. What is it, like 48 bucks for the recording fee? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. No recording, no nothing. Like, I mean, you know a will and a trust yeah. is not going to cost you 50 bucks. Oh. But it won't cost you anywhere near that to have the entirety of the program. Oh, so yeah. so you actually you guys actually form the will and trust? Mm -hmm. We have a turn. Yeah. So oh. It's, I, I'll definitely leave you with one of these. Because um, I, I thought you were talking services. about just putting things in a trust and just like, see ya. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. And I know you they, wouldn't do that. I know you wouldn't do that. they send you the certificate to your home. Okay. Like the official documentation. Oh. You can put it in a safe. Okay. Or so you can, you, get you know, all the it's the everything. whole, yeah. So it's the whole nine yards. They have identity wow. protection because okay. that's key yep. to making sure that nobody else is falsifying information. Um, they have multiple, yeah. it, it, it all correlates. They okay. even, they, they even have life insurance. So it's, mm. it's we're actually gonna have we're a life have in to, uh, <laughs> yeah, we have a life insurance guy here next week. Oh, I'm actually, excited. Yeah. New York yeah. life. So nice. that's, yeah. yep. Okay. yep. All so right. he's going to teach us a little bit about life insurance. That's yeah. super key too. Like it, most people think it's like, I'm not dying anytime soon. And it's like, you yeah, did not yeah. see that bus coming. Did you? Yeah. No, I, I you got know? it now. <laughs> yeah. Just well, well just there's, know. there's a lot more like, yeah. I didn't know. Well, I don't mean to talk about next week before this, but like life insurance, you could actually take, um, and loan yourself money from your life yeah, insurance. That's what you and said last time. Yeah, yeah, dude. Like also from your four hundred one k. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So cool. there is a lot. There is a lot involved with it. Gotcha. But credit okay. Is so you guys. So you guys do everything financial. I, I, I would I say majority say of things, but financial. definitely the fundamentals. The fun. And the fundamentals the are much. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The fun. Fundamentals, you know? <laughs> um, and it's it's much more in depth than most people assumed it'd be. So that's why I always just start with credit. I yeah. mean, you got to start yeah. with step one. Yeah. Then if somebody wants to go for, I can't start talking to somebody like this who didn't even think they can afford uh, a loan. Oh, very true, I can't yep. start mm -hmm. talking like this to someone who didn't even think they can have a credit score. Yeah. So we start with the first yeah. step. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought yeah, I thought when awesome. Zalo uh, invited me or invited you over, 
Um, I thought it was just gonna be record, uh, just credit. And I'm like, okay, like let me think of some credit thing. He didn't yeah. say it was like, hey, like there's an education class we're gonna go into today, and because <laughs> I learned a lot. Like I I'm serious. Gonna, I was gonna say, to be honest, like I thought it was gonna be about credit as well, but it went even beyond my expectations. Yeah, you, you way guys, beyond. You guys asked I the love questions. This. I just yeah, answered them. I, I love <laughs> <that>. <laughs> it was like it was surprising every time I asked the question. It, yeah. It'd be more. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. She well, said, what's what? this? Yeah. There's more. <laughs> Please feel free to fact check me. Yeah. You know, um, so much cool info today i i learned so much yeah, yeah. so, thank so you. how much how much is it it really gets that part yeah it depends i don't like putting a price on it because it depends oh, okay, on okay. What, you need. what you need okay you know, so 200 I, a month are we close no that's too much okay uh, 100 a month are we close that's too much ah okay so Shoot. at this point you have to recognize that okay. it's it's worth every it's single worth every penny. cent of it Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. I mean, shit. You you're paying that in interest on probably one of your loans or car or whatever. And well, I get a Starbucks every day, and that adds up to more than a hundred dollars. So yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah very true. Starbucks. Well, I, I, I just prioritize. Dunkin' Donuts at home now. Oh no! <laughs> it's not the same. Now the cake it's cups It's not the now. same. But yeah, I got I the cake cups now. I have to prioritize. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm trying to get those assets. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so well, yeah. And if you guys do want to know more information about it, how do we get a hold? Yeah, of how, how do they contact you? Yeah. So my name is Remy Seleuco. There is no other Remy Seleuco in this world. I checked. Okay. okay. I tried to find her. She wasn't out there. R e m m y s e l e e u u c Oh. oh, okay, cool. And then um, my Instagram, which I feel is the best way for you guys to yep. get to know me interpersonally, also see my business, see the lifestyle, because cool. that's what I've been using to kind of sell myself and market myself, but also provide education, mm -hmm. free education. Yep. You yeah. know, um, it's pro wander, so P R O underscore wander. Okay. Um, and I haven't changed it to anything real estate or credit related because I truly feel that I wander through. Yeah. And anywhere cool. I go, That's I awesome. wandered into here by yeah, coincidence yeah. Because, of a, <laughs> because of a networking event. Yeah. Right? That oh, I nice, nice. Met. I went to or a Jeremy's event. Yeah, or you and connected you and through I started social following media. you and I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. she's pretty awesome. With I all wandered this stuff. into Rothwell Gorn by coincidence. Like, I, I wander the city to find houses for my clients. So I always tell people, like, I'm a wanderer does not mean I'm lost. It just means <laughs> I'm yeah. very open minded. Yeah. So very I won't true. change it. I'm a professional wanderer. Cool. So, and. If you want my phone number, just don't be weird. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. 702-413-5809. There you go, viewers and listeners. Now you have her info, and that is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you, you for uh, coming in and taking your time. I know. Thank to, you so much. Yeah, no I, problem. Thank you. I've never done a podcast before, and I just love education. You crushed and I, it. And I love talking, too. Yeah. So you guys kind of just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's awesome uh okay guys so for next week we have uh a life insurance um professional that is going to yep. be yeah so josh you want to tell him about that yeah so he's just going to talk uh to us about life insurance how to leverage it uh there's just more than your employer giving it to you and uh tell you guys the ins and outs of all of it of all of the life insurance uh so if you can just go ahead subscribe like uh follow us on instagram um you know, thank you guys for, for tuning in and um, have a great day. Take care, guys. Thank you.